Hey guys and welcome back. Today we're going to show you how to make the ultimate helping hand. So visit our website at hm-innovations.com. You're going to need four alligator clamps for this and make sure they're not very strong and they're also not too light. These are going to be the actual helping hands. The next thing that you're going to need is a 12 gauge copper wire and we're going to cut this to 6 inches from top to bottom. So we're going to use our pliers and cut this up to the 6 inch mark and we're going to measure to the 3 inch mark because that's where we're going to bend it in half and that's going to go under the helping hands and we'll explain everything in a minute. The next thing is to go ahead and cut a small piece at the end of the wire, cut it off and go ahead and put it inside of your alligator clip, uh, clip and you can see there's a small hole in the alligator clamp and that's where we're going to place this on the inside and we're going to make sure that it's not going to move from there. So we're going to remove the opposing end and we're going to solder everything together. So. Once you put this solder onto the clamp and everything has been clamped down so it's not going to be moving around, it's going to look something like this. That's after the solder has been installed. Now the next thing that we got to do is put electrical tape around the entire solder connection so it looks better and it's not going to be falling off and it's going to have extra protection and it just looks great overall. Now here are the four clamps that we used. Now the next thing that we have to do is go ahead and measure out to the 3 inch mark from the top or from the bend of your alligator clip and we're going to bend that outwards towards the same direction as your clip and that's going to go underneath the clip foil and we'll show you that in a minute. Once you have all four of the alligator clamps bent down at the 90 degree angle at the bottom we're going to go ahead and take a small piece off of cable from the bottom and we're going to split that in two and I'll show you why in a minute. So we're going to put that into our cover sheet of um, the project box cover that we had left over and then we're going to spread open the things at the end so they can stay there for sure and we're going to duct tape everything down and the next step is to cut a hole in the center. Then we're going to put that on top of our three-fourths of an inch plywood and we're going to cut that open so we're going to make a drawing on the outside and using our dual saw we're going to cut a small piece of board that's going to be used as our base. So here is our board and everything has been taken off and sanded down to the right measurements and we're going to go ahead and place our project box top onto that and it's going to have the box, I mean the alligator clamps on it already. Then we're going to go ahead and drill a hole in the center and we're going to use a screw to hold down the project box top onto our piece of wood. Afterwards it's going to look something like this and we went ahead and we put aluminum foil around the edges to add extra protection. And the next thing is to go ahead and grab this adhesive tape. And they're made by 3M, they're very durable. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to use this and we're going to put it onto our tip and soldering cleaning tool and you can buy these for $1.50 at Radio Shack and we're going to go ahead and put that onto our board. Afterwards it's going to look something like this and now you know that the cleaning solution and the cleaning tip is in the right position. We then went back into our project box and we got an old piece of PVC pipe and we're going to go ahead and put aluminum tape on the bottom part of this PVC pipe because that's where we're going to put our cleaning sponge and we'll show you how in a minute. Once you put your aluminum tape, just make sure that it covers the entire edge over the actual PVC pipe because you don't want your solder to be burning onto your plastic. So we're going to go ahead and cover this entire thing with aluminum tape and we're going to leave the sticky section in the bottom. So we went by the store and we got this um, sponge for about, I don't know, it was about $1.50 and it's made out of copper and you can find it under the cleaning supplies and we're going to place that on the inside of our PVC pipe and that's what's going to help us clean the tip off of uh, extra solder that you may have on your soldering gun. So once everything has been placed inside we're going to find a place to place this onto our board. So we thought that putting it right next to the cleaning uh, tin would be the great place. So using additional uh, tape, the aluminum tape, we went ahead and we placed this on here and then we went and ahead and grabbed an old Altoid tap or the top of the Altoid box and we flattened it out with a hammer and we wrapped it around a screwdriver, the uh, handle of the screwdriver so we can have like a nozzle or a small cone onto the opposing end and we used aluminum tape to hold everything in place so it won't you know, come unfold or anything. So once we put the aluminum tape 
everything's in place and we're going to have to find a place to put this onto our board. So if we put it on the very top, we thought this was, this was the best place that we could find. So we went ahead and we taped this down on top of that cleaning place on the top right. And this is how it looks afterwards. And this aluminum tape is actually very durable and it holds pretty tightly. I mean, you can bend it. You can if you try real hard, but it's, it's good enough for this. The next thing is making a switch with our LED light. So we went ahead and we grabbed a 210 ohm resistor and an LED light and a switch. And we test everything out to make sure that everything is working properly. And you have the on and off switch button. And we're going to do is we're going to place that onto a cable and that's where we're going to have the LED light that's going to be our light for to see at night. Now we went ahead and we installed the battery and also we clamped this down so we can have the LED on the inside of this. So this is how it looks and we used the regular clamp down holder that we found for like 25 cents at a hardware store. We then went ahead and we soldered our 220 ohm resistor onto our LED and this is how it looks afterwards and we went ahead and we put uh, electrical tape around the entire LED section so the cables are not going to be exposed. And lastly we went ahead and we removed the very top cover of a lighter and we're going to use that so we won't be flashed whenever we're trying to solder something with a bright LED. So you can split that open a little bit and you can use that by putting it at the very end and sealing it back together. It has a groove or a circle around the top so you can pinch that onto your light. And now you can go ahead and test it out. And that's it guys, that's how you make your helping hands. And you can move this light all over the place if you wanted to. And that's how you make the ultimate helping hands. Thank you for watching guys and come back soon. Visit our website if you're looking for additional projects at hm-innovations.com